Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2 and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now, for today, we definitely are going to go ahead and get into Sacred Woman by Queen Afua. We are in chapter number four, which is the care of the womb. For this take, this is take number 16. Now, yesterday I was listening to the, uh, the So Us show, and uh, it was on water. Um, the actual book um, that he's reading is My Sister's Keeper. Is your temple in order? Now, regarding the water um, that you're drinking, certainly want to drink, drink water. Um, since your body is made up of water. Um, I'm just going to just reiterate because I thought about it when I was watching the show. Um, the temperature, regarding the temperatures of the water. Now, for the uh, warm water, now this was in take number 14 um, here in the care of the womb, okay? Now, you drink warm water to release gross. That cause stress on the womb. So the temperature of the water is important. Now, drink cold water if the womb is prolapsed or if you are experiencing frigidity or low energy. Therefore, the temperature, you can get energy from the water. Show you right. Now, we're going to go ahead and go on to take number 16. Um, right now, we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to continue on talking about healing drinks, okay? Now, this is not something to drink. The next one I'm about to tell you, no, don't do that. For real, when I say the word, you're going to be like, show you right, poem, praise to We is not about to drink that regarding where it goes. Now, for this, uh, for number 14, douches. See, told you, you don't need to be drinking this. Higgs, to the nizzle, don't do that. Now, for the cleaning douche, uh, to one pint of purified water in a douche bag, add one of the following ingredients. Uh, four teaspoon of golden seal powder with the juice of uh, half a lemon or lime. Two cups of red raspberry leaf tea. Juice of one lime or lemon. And three tablespoons of organic apple cider vinegar. Number 15, wheatgrass, suppository, and douche. You're cleaning out the insides, okay? Now, when you go to the health food store for your wheatgrass juice, if you don't have a juicer, you'll see the pulp coming out of the machine. Put that pulp into a plastic bag and take it home to use as a suppository. It acts like a sponge breaking up all that mucus. If you have a discharge of vaginal toxins or odor, the wheatgrass suppository should clear that up. To use a suppository, soak the pulp and some of your wheatgrass juice. Insert the pulp into your vagina, just a few inches up. Let it sit for an hour and then take it out. It's easy to remove. Just put your hand gently into your vagina area and pull on the pulp. It will slip out easily. Then douche with the rest of your wheatgrass juice, one or two ounces in one quart of water, will draw out even more toxins. Internal cleansing is number 16. To a quart size enema bag, add the juice of one lemon and one lime, or you can add three to four tablespoons of organic apple cider vinegar. This is especially good if you have a lot of gas, indigestion and bloating. If you have an ulcer, you should clear as you keep doing your womb healing. Then use chlorophyll in the water, either one or two ounces of wheatgrass or two to four tablespoons of liquid chlorophyll. Then fill the bag with warm water, making sure the clamp is shut. Now lie on the floor on your left side to take the enema. You might want to lie on the towel and have another one handy. Put your hand up against the wall. 
wherever your hand is, put a nail or hook there. Because that's where you'll hang the enema bag. A healthy colon is related to a healthy wound. Remember, if the colon is impacted, then the wound will also be affected. When the transverse middle colon is prolapsed due to a late night eating or the eating of heavy indigestible foods such as meat, flesh, and white denatured starches, the colon can drop down below the navel. If you carry 10 to 30 pounds of excess waste, it can press down on the wound, causing many womb problems. So that colon, which is in the back, can affect the front. What's going on in the front? The wound. Okay. Now 17 is for more cleansing techniques. Use a natural herbal laxative. Um, Cascara, Sagrada, or Sagrada, is a gentle one. I know. And you won't feel any gripping. Take three tablets with a glass of water before you go to sleep. Now, for the spelling of that, if you want to look that up, um, it's C A S C A R A. And Sagrada, or Sagrada, is S A G R A D A. Now, if you snore in your sleep, or you have breathing difficulties, or if you wake up with uh, mucus in your head or bags under your eyes, then before you go to bed, three tablets of your laxative with the juice of a lime or two tablespoons of organic cider vinegar diluted in eight ounces of warm water to open up your lungs and your colon. This will help to flush out while you're sleeping, while you're cleaning out the colon. You're also flushing out the mucus above and below. Number 18. Garlic, castor oil, and or olive oil enemas. Bet you didn't know you can have all these different enemas with different natural things. But now you do. Now you gonna know. So for this one is follow directions for taking an enema. Add one oil and one astringent from the following suggestions. Now the oils is one fourth cup of castor oil, a fourth a cup of cold pressed olive oil, the astringents, juice of a lemon, juice of a lime, twelve drops of liquid chylic or colic. I'm gonna spell. It. I don't know if I said that correctly, y'all. K Y O L I C. A fourth of a teaspoon of golden seal powder. And two tablespoons of aloe vera gel directly from the plant. First mash pulp until it becomes a liquid. Clay pack. Internal. Wrap one teaspoon, tablespoon, excuse me, of Queen of Fools rejuvenating clay or fuller earth and cheesecloth. Place in the vaginal entrance and leave it for 30 to 60 minutes. Remove clay by gently washing and rinsing with warm water. The clay helps to draw out poisons such as discharge, cysts, and odors out of the wound. Yes, I said poisons. You may substitute a clove of fresh garlic for the clay. Clay suppositories. Well, since we're talking about enemas, let me go up here. Because there's a little section right here. See that? See that little section that's in a different color? That is um, how to take an enema. Now, you're going to fill one to two quart size enema bag with warm water, making sure the clamp is shut. Don't want no water running out, so want to make sure it's closed. At this point, you may add ingredients listed in number 18, which I just told you, in the list of techniques. Note that using oil in the enema helps to loosen waste impacted within the colon. Now, before inserting the enema bag nozzle, open the clamp up a little bit and let some of the water out so that any excess air in the tube can be cleared, okay? This way, you won't get any gas back up in the colon with your first intake of water. So let a little air out. Don't want to get that air all up inside you. You're going to release some of the air, okay? Close the clamp 
Then you put a natural cream lubricant on the nozzle or the tube or the enema bag and ease it into your anus. Lie on your left side and open a clamp and release a little of the water. Then take in as much water as you can while massaging and vibrating the left side of the colon with your hands. If you've already had some experience with enemas, turn over on your back for a little bit. Then turn to your right side and repeat the same step. If you feel very advanced, then you can let all the liquid inside of you and hold it. If not, no problem. Simply let in all the water that you can hold. If your colon's impacted, you probably will use only a quart or half of the water. In a week, though, you might be using the whole quart if you've done a lot of cleansing and have taken your okra or black seed. Next, sit on a toilet with your legs raised on a footstool or phone book so you're in a semi-squat and release the water and waste. So, like a full 90 degrees when you're going to the restroom, Okay. That's why you're going to have your, your feet on something, you know. Check your position when you're going to the restroom. You should be at a certain position where you're going to the restroom. So you'll have ease and won't have a lot of difficulties while you're going to the restroom. Jazz, just saying. Now that you flushed out as much as you can, go back to the enema bag and finish the rest of the quarter if you're able. Or you can simply lie on the floor for a while, which is very relaxing. Try raising your legs at a 45 degree angle. Begin to massage your colon in a circular motion, which creates a balance. Then move down to your womb area and massage the right ovary. And breathe deeply. Massage both fallopian tubes and breathe. Massage the left ovary and breathe. And you've completely through, excuse me, after you're completely through with your enema, you might want to lie on the floor for a while and meditate on how good you feel, how cleansed and purified. Now we're going to get to the clay suppositories. Now, you can also take one tablespoon of Queen of Fool's Rejuvenating Clay or Fuller's Earth and put it in your vagina. Then pull it in like a suction pulp. It's not about neatness. Just do it. Just be natural. Leave the clay there for about an hour. Then wash it out with your shower spray or spray bottle of purified water. The clay will start flushing and cleansing you out. Do this to keep the womb healthy, to keep it cleansed, to keep it purged. Packs and pulse teas. I don't know if I said that word correctly, but the spelling of it is P-O-U-L-T-I-C-E-S. Clay represents the great mother earth. In her honor and to empower your womb, Apply a clay pack to your womb overnight on every new and full moon for a profound revitalization. Now this does complete our read of chapter number four, The Care of the Womb, take number 16, here on Poem Praise 2. Now certainly, here is a picture of Queen Fua. At the bottom of the picture, it says, Queen Afua believes in you. So I want you to stay tuned for take number 17. But until then, I certainly want for you to be well, to take care, to be safe, and be blessed. And it be at thy will. I'll talk with you soon here on Palm Praise 2. So, until next time. Later, y'all.